We're going to talk about cleaning your palette. Eventually, your palette's going to get dirty. This is mine from home, and I've got way too much paint on it, and I've got a lot of stuff. A lot of this is dry, and I just need to clean this up so I can use it again because some of this is just not usable. So let's talk about cleaning up a palette. What are you going to need? You're going to need your dirty, dried up palette. You're going to need some newspaper. You need a paint scraper that looks like this and some kind of level surface. You're going to need newspaper so that you can protect the surface you're cleaning your palette on and you don't have to clean up the tabletop later or you don't leave a lot of random pieces. This paint scraper is a razor blade. Be very careful with it. We need to work on a level surface so that you don't break your palette if it's made out of glass like ours are. I guess if it's wood it wouldn't be as critical but you still might break your palette. So first step I'm going to cover an area. In the classroom, you're welcome to scrape it back by the sink, but please cover up that surface so that it doesn't get any worse than, than normal. I'd prefer that you just go ahead and take it back to your seat. Work on a level surface. I've got the newspaper out. What I'm going to do is open up this razor blade. There's a button on the one side of these tools, and these are stored in the paint drawer, the painting drawer where all the oil paints are stored. Push the button down and slide out. This is a razor blade and it's important that you're really careful with it because it's going to cut you if, you if you use it improperly. If for some reason the blade breaks during the process, just bring it to me. It's not a big deal um, and I can replace it. There may be a couple scrapers back there so you can just use a different one. But just bring me the blade and so I know it's broken. Don't try to take it out yourself. All right, how do we do this? Level surface, palette. One thing, if you use the blade this way with this button up, it tends to re-collapse inside, but I find if you turn the button down, it doesn't collapse anymore. So use it button side down so that it won't disappear on you. And what you need to do is keep your hand behind this so that as you're scraping, you're pushing and sometimes you have to push with a lot of pressure. If you're pushing with that pressure and your hand is here, you might slip and cut yourself. So always hold your hand behind the scraper and push away from your hand. And what you have to do is kind of put it down and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And since these are glass, it'll eventually get down there. All right, so you could clean a small portion of your palette. You could clean your whole palette out. It's kind of how, how you want to work. Um, clearly I don't clean mine every every time I use it and you're just going to push this down. Keep this on an angle, put some pressure on it. If you have an area that's got big pieces, which hopefully you haven't used this much paint, um, you can just slide right underneath those. Keep your hand away from it. If you want to just clean your work area, you can. I found this area, this paint here, has still got a lot of wet paint in it, so I may not scrape that. These are pretty hard. This one's hard. So you can clean off the whole thing if that's the right situation. You can clean off a portion of it. The biggest issue is to keep your hand behind where you're pushing that blade. If you have a lot of paint, if it's wet, and you get paint on here, just wipe, wipe the blade off this way. Don't try to clean it with your hand. Just drag it on the paper. Scrape off everything you want. When you get done, fold your leftovers inside this, throw it away, and you can reload your palette.